Hi folks, welcome to another low whistle tutorial. Today we're going to look at the old favourite, which is a jig in G major. Um, I'll do what I always do, I'll play through it and then I'll break it down phrase by phrase and finally I'll play it through slowly so that you can play along. Quite a hard tune to finish actually that one. Now I'll play each phrase separately and slowly. Feel free to pause the video um, and play them back um, or make it slower in the settings. You can set it to like three quarter speed or something um, to really nail each phrase before you put it together. Uh, so this is the first phrase of the A music starting on a B. Three, four. Um, this is the second phrase of the A music, also starting on a B, but it starts on the upbeat, so I'll emphasise the first beat of the next bar. Three, four. Um, and the third phrase is the same as the first phrase, which is nice. Mm. Um, and the fourth phrase of the A music is really similar to the second one. Starting again on a B on the upbeat. Three, four. So that's the A music. It repeats. Um, and the last time through, instead of just finishing on that G, there's a run up to get to the B music. So I'll just play that fourth phrase in the version that you'd have at the end of the A music. So that's the last phrase of the A, and now we'll do the first phrase of the B music. And the second phrase, starting on the upbeat, on a B. Three, four. And the third phrase is the same as the first. And finally, the fourth phrase of the B music, starting on the upbeat. Three, four. Um, and that leads to the repeat. The fourth phrase is different the second time through. Um, so instead of going three, four. And repeating the B, the second time when you get there, you go three, four. And that B is the start of the A music again. That's why it's quite a hard tune to finish because you always want to do it again. <laughs> um, so yeah, go back through and repeat each phrase as many times as you need. Um, and now I'll play it through slowly and you can play along. Three, four.
Um, yeah, I hope you found this useful. You'll have noticed that I played it very simply and without any ornamentation. Um, I'll be covering ornamentation in later tutorials, but feel free to go back to the start of the video and listen to how I played it for a version with some ornaments. And as always, search out different versions of this tune from your favourite players. Um, listening to fluters and whistlers is the best way to learn, really. Um, yeah, any suggestions or um, tunes that you'd like to learn, post in the comments. Um, see you next time. Cheers.